majestic Mount Rainier looms over Seattle, the icon of the pristine Pacific Northwest. Thousands of people live in the valleys just below Rainier. Its Indian name, Tahoma, alludes to a giant slumbering in a cave. But one morning, that giant might suddenly awake, and local residents will learn that they have been living under a time bomb. It's flat out going to happen someday. The history of the mountain is clear on that. When Rainier erupts, it will cut a swath of death and destruction through the region. And when that day comes, the sky will rain fire and rock. When Rainier erupts, if it's an explosive type of an eruption, there would be a jet of gas, ash, and hot rock that would be hurled skywards for several hundred meters. And that uh, mixture would be turbulent. It would rip up uh, the snow and ice, mix with it, and cause extensive melting. But ash isn't what presents the greatest danger, nor is it the eruption. 150,000 residents in the towns dotting the valley below are in grave danger from one of the least recognized of all the volcanic hazards, a creeping, deadly mud flow. Something like 35 square miles of snow and ice available or melting almost instantaneously should a, uh, an explosive pyroclastic eruption occur. 14,000 feet above the valley, this pyroclastic flow searing streams of ash and pumice reaches 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, melting a swath of snowpack. This is all it takes to start a disaster of biblical proportions. Boiling water funnels down chutes and churns through mud and debris. The hot flood shears off slabs of ice, picks up boulders, devours wet soil from the valley sides, growing in size, speed, and power as it heads toward the half dozen towns below the mountain. In the valleys, warning sirens wail, and residents jam the two-lane highway leading to safety. The slide has the consistency of wet concrete, concrete that can travel at nearly 40 miles per hour. Residents have to flee on foot. Those who can run. You would run sideways and you'd get up the slopes of the hill so that you're away from the river valley itself and uh, as fast as possible. But the river of mud is still moving faster than any man can run. The raging torrent sweeps cars off the roads engulfs entire communities over 40 square miles. The unstoppable sludge fills the towns of Puyallup, Enumclaw, and Kent, entombing tens of thousands of people. The torrent of mud thins out as it races through Tacoma, stopping only when it reaches the port of Seattle, 60 miles from Rainier. Damage to homes and commercial property exceeds $10 billion. If this is true, a Mount Rainier eruption would rank as the worst natural disaster in US history. The people who survive will be those who were quick enough to scramble onto high ground.